Hello again, Sonic fans. I finally have time from to take a break from my very busy schedule to show you guys a whole bunch of new stuff I got. Uh, I've been waiting a while to do this video in hopes it would all come in, so it finally did. And now I get to show it to you. Taking a break from playing Toe Jam & Earl. I don't know if you guys remember that game on uh, Sega Genesis, which is now on Xbox Live Arcade. But I just want to give them a quick shout out because their Kickstarter for the fourth game just reached uh, their limit, their goal which was $400,000 and they actually managed to raise 500000 so if you're a fan of old school Sega, that's something really cool to look look forward to. And they, they're doing uh, toys for people that, uh, that back them for a certain amount. But anyway, on to the Sonic stuff. First thing is Sega Prize plushes again. I say again because in three of my other videos I had these and Shadow and Tails were the last two that I needed. To have the whole set. So there's Shadow. Again, I've said it before, but these things are really cool, really well detailed. These are the ones with the cloth eyes, or sewn on eyes, I guess I should say, instead of the hard ones. Tails. really hope they do another series of these and do maybe a Metal Sonic and uh, be cool if maybe they did a Blaze. But G's been doing a really good job lately of announcing new plushes which brings me on to Chaos. This was a real surprise and I'm still shocked they actually made a Chaos plush. I never thought we would see any Chaos items. Especially not now, being the game's been out for over 10 years now, 15 years. But it's very nicely done. You can see he has the brain there. You can see the detail in the bubbles in his uh, body. I have Eggman somewhere. I just don't remember where I put him. But I'll do him in the next video. This is another plush. It's uh, from the Sega Sonic line. It's a uh, Karate Sonic. His little blue uh, karate outfit on. I have no idea what that might say. Little headband. There's the tag. It's in pretty good shape. Very good shape, actually. I do have the tails that goes with it. They have a tails that has a. Um, a red karate vest. It's boxed up somewhere though. I don't know where it is right now. The thing about these, this series of plushes, I've noticed as well, you know, on all of them, is, especially the tails, is uh, the eyes have a very have the tendency to come off very easily because they're just kind of stuck stuck on there. Here's an Eggman figure. Pretty small, not a whole lot of detail in it, but I just I love Japanese Eggman. I don't know why I love the Japanese style Eggman so much, but it's, I've always thought he was really cool. I gotta thank Emma Burston for these two items from from the Sonic groups on Facebook. There are, were other other items in the series. Of figures. I, I'm pretty sure there was an Amy. I know there was a Sonic and a Tails. I'm not sure about a Knuckles. I'm assuming there was. If you guys are wondering what that stuff all over my hand is, I've been doing redoing my roof today, so I've got tar all over it. Moving on, I got a, I finally got a few toys from the UK Burger King line that were produced back in the 90s. This is a uh, Tails that um, you pull it back and let it go and it's tail will start turning. Can't really, no, there you go. Pretty cool. Here's the knuckles, it's unopened. Sonic and Eggman, not really sure what they do. Here's the flyer that has the pictures of the other ones. So there's a Sonic game. It looks like it's one of those little things where you have, there's three balls in there and you have to get all three of them in the holes without any of them coming out. 
And that Eggman one, I have no idea what that one does. Okay, well, I, mean, I guess now I do. It looks like the Eggman when you put water in it. And it does something. It's good. It's good the Burger King got at least one line of Sonic toys. I'm sure I mentioned in a video, one of my older videos about how they uh, had a whole set of uh, Sonic Adventure toys ready to go. And then they canceled it. I think I showed you guys the Gamma art that I have. I wish I knew where the rest of the art to that thing was, but God only knows. Some collect. I bought uh, the Gamma one off a lot on eBay, but I've already told you guys that story. So I won't go into that again. These are Thieves from the newer line. Before I forget, I want to thank Peter Robinson for all this. He sent me the Thieves, the Burger King toys, and the Sega Prize toys. He always sends me the coolest stuff that comes out in Europe. There's SPO. There's Cream. Blaze. Tails. Charmy. And Knuckles. I know there's also Tail or Sonic. Um, I'm not sure if there's an Eggman one. There's a Vector one. Uh, there's an Amy one. Gotta find those eventually. It's pretty hard to find just uh, singles and not some, you know, without buying the entire set. So it might take me a while to track those down, but I'm not in any hurry. If you guys don't know what thieves are, they're a thing, uh, from what I understand, you, you would bake them into a cake. And when you got a piece of cake, if this was in there, then you got to keep it. I could be wrong, but that's what I heard. I feel like that would be a real big choking hazard. That's probably why they're not very common in America. This is a pair of socks from uh, 1991-1992. Just a basic pair of kid socks, Sonic on the front, Tails on the back. I really like stuff like this. I mean, socks themselves, they're you know, nothing exciting, but I like when stuff from the 90s still has this cardboard hang, hanging part on it. Because that part's almost as rare as the socks themselves, because everybody that got the socks would just throw that in the garbage. So that's really cool to have. I gotta thank uh, Sean from the Sonic Facebook groups for this. Moving on, here is something I'm very excited but at the same time very disappointed about. I bought this off eBay. It's a can of Sonic uh, SpaghettiOs. Been looking for another one for years because I used to eat these all the time back in the day. And I guess somehow during shipping it got damaged right there and uh, it leaked. As you can see it's all the way around. Still going to keep it though and pray that nothing else happens to it. The label was changed uh, three times. Once when Sonic Adventure came out and once when uh, Sonic went through that whole redesign where he got that new logo and uh, it had a green background. But, uh, so there's to a total of six variations on labels because each label also had a meatball version. So a lot of times, it, uh, right under the Sonic logo, right here in this white space, it would say with meatballs. And the shapes were uh, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Sonic in a Ball, Dr. Robotnik, and a Power Ring. Because, you know, obviously they have to call those normal spaghetti or something. I'm actually kind of curious to see what the pasta inside will look like after uh, 20 years now. And look how bad they are for you. Only about 2,000 milligrams of sodium per can. Huh. I wonder if they're still as bad as that. Yeah, I really wish I had one in a lot better shape to show you, but unfortunately, things happen. And this is the final thing I'm going to show you today. This is a uh, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Knuckles on a uh, on his ATV. 
found this at Ross for ten dollars. It uh, the wheels turn, it makes noises. As soon as you let go of that first button, it stops. The weird thing about these is, like this particular series, like I never found it at a normal store. Ross is one of those like um, clearance stores where uh, regular stores like uh, Walmart and Sears and places like that send all their their overstock and stuff that wouldn't sell. Sell it to places like Ross at a very cheap price, and then they resell it for half the cost of whatever the original store sold it for. This one was ten, and it had a, originally had a label on there that said twenty. So I wonder where these were originally available at. Even those little diecast cars, they had those too. But I think I put those in another video already. That's really all I got to show you guys. Um, GE did announce, in case you guys didn't read, that they're doing plushes of Blaze, Charmy, Vector, um, and I think that's all they've said for now, but I'm really excited to see those. Oh, and SPO. So, hopefully those get released pretty soon. Now the Dr. Eggman one and the Chaos one are both out. would be even nicer if they would announce uh, plushes of uh, Marine and Mighty the Armadillo, but they're never going to, so I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.